Lego inventor and I want to build a Lego Feastables chocolate bar launcher. Now what's Feastables, you may ask? Okay, Patrick, I'll explain it to you. Feastables is Mr. Beast chocolate bar company that currently sells Mr. Beast bars. So since Mr. Beast is really cool and I want to throw chocolate at people, I want to make a chocolate bar launcher out of Lego that shoots chocolate super far. And also since Mr. Beast gave me money in this box, I want to make this Feastables launcher shoot cold hard cash because that is what you call philanthropy. Step one, the first thing we need to do is build a frame for the launcher out of Lego Technic. It'll have two triggers on the handle, one of them will shoot the money out, and the other one will actually launch the chocolate bar. So we'll have to create a mechanism for that using like latex rubber straps to actually get it to launch super far. But we gotta make the frame first. Okay, I'm thinking it'll be about this big, we'll have a catapult that will swing. Now we just gotta build this up into a box shape since we don't have the elastic bands yet. <laughs> Now we gotta build another one of these and not break it like I just did with this one. Okay, now we have the size of our launcher. We're gonna have the money shooter at the bottom here. We're gonna cover this thing up with theming so it looks like a Mr. Beast bar. So basically we're gonna have to order a bunch of pink and blue. Now we gotta connect the sideways, but I wanna teach you a cool thing. It's called connecting things at angles. Connect it like that and now, it literally strengthened this so much because this now can't move. That is called a linkage or something. Okay, now to just connect these somehow. Now we gotta put a layer of plates on each side of these and then we'll add these cross beams going across to make sure it doesn't completely explode. It's looking good. All right, so we just finished our frame and we also got our elastic bands, as you can see. These are very stretchy. <laughs> so this will power our catapult. So we'll have this tied to a catapult that's gonna rest in here. Fulcrum point is going to be about here. That will launch our chocolate. For the next step then, let's build our catapult out of Technic, the strongest thing I know of. Okay, so we fixed that. And now, this should be fine. Now we have a catapult. We're gonna attach the fulcrum point over here at the front. The release mechanism is gonna be really easy for this and I'll explain that in a second. First, we just gotta build a little thing that can hold these bars right here. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Feastables. Now, I feel like this is gonna work better than I'm expecting because these don't really weigh that much at all. <laughs> all right, everybody, it is a new day, which means a new chocolate bar. Almondy. All right, so this is what we got. We have a catapult. As you can see, it does this. It doesn't break, so that's a plus. The next step in this process is to add a release mechanism to here using a Lego motor. For the electronics for this, we're gonna use the Lego Power Functions motors. We're also gonna use the IR receivers and remotes for the trigger, so we'll put this in the handle. Now you can see this turns when we push this trigger. So to make this thing unlatch, we wanna add a gear ratio to it, and then a simple piece like this. If we attach that to here, this thing should then just release it. Here is the very scuffed version of this. Bam, releases our catapult. This will need to be a lot stronger, so we need to add a gear ratio. A simple gear ratio would be with a worm gear. So the bottom one spins, and then the top one spins very slowly. So if we plug this into here, see how slowly that top part spins. Attach this, perfect like that. Mount this back here. Now we just gotta build this up a little bit better here. <laughs> All right, so now that we got our catapult built up, the next thing we need to do is build a money shooter because that's the next best thing to shooting chocolate at your friends. You're shooting money. So we have 30 singles and I want this to launch one single at a time and here's my plan. All right, now if we put a single Dolores we can build up brick walls on the sides. We're gonna actually have two gear racks and a motor underneath this. The motor will spin the gear racks so that the spinning tire will actually lower onto the dollars. Now the money goes on the inside. Oh no, why doesn't it fit? Here's what we're gonna do. A piece like this, this right here. Okay, well I'll fix this and then get back to you guys. All right, here's what we have. We've mounted the cash shooter right here. And as you can see, we have two motors and this little mechanism that will essentially push down on the cash when you pull this bar down here. We have the catapult and that will stretch back down here. We move this thing down. So this thing will go all the way down there and get locked in. Let me show you the cash shooter. And now, as you can see, all we need to do is pull the lever down. 
<laughs> that was so cool. The next step in this process is we actually have to take the whole thing and make it look super cool. So we need to order a bunch of bricks. Luckily, this video is sponsored by Crazy Kai's Bricklink store and we can order from them. There's this really cool site called Bricklink. It's basically like eBay for Lego pieces. And there's a ton of different stores, but this video is sponsored by Crazy Kai's Bricklink store because I actually really like them. So once you make a Bricklink account, you can visit their store and actually shop for different parts. For my project, I need a bunch of pink, yellow, and light blue pieces. So if I go down to brick, I can add a bunch of bright light blue bricks. Now Crazy Kai's has sponsored this project, so I already ordered my parts and they sent them to me for free a couple days ago. But basically I can just check out here and they'll pack the parts and ship them right to my door. Bricklink is really cool and I really like Crazy Kai's Bricklink store because they ship fast, their customer service is great, and I honestly just love working with them. So link in the description for Crazy Kai's Bricklink store and huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video and providing a bunch of parts we're gonna need for the build. Now we just gotta wait for them to arrive. Hey. Nice. So we got a bunch of pieces that match the Feastable theme. As you can see, we got blue, pink, yellow. So I've come up with sort of a design for what this thing should look like on the outside. It's got some cool angles and stuff. So we just need to restortify this one last time and then build up the sides and make it look super cool before we can do the official test. Now we just gotta unbox all this. Check this out guys, to connect these segments to here, we're gonna use a special piece, and this has several hinging parts. Should be able to just clip that in, and then we'll add the lightning bolt back. Uh, are we rolling? That just, uh, <laughs> this thing just snapped off. Completely broke the bricks. Guys, there's been a disaster, but a disaster in disguise because I figured out a way we could do this. It'll launch further. We're gonna get rid of the catapult and then we're gonna make a slingshot and then we'll have these that'll pull back. All we gotta do is real quick build a little Lego thing that will hold a candy bar and then it'll just launch. Wow, even just with that one, it shot super far. So we just need to modify this a little bit. Okay, so I'm trying a new mechanism here. There's a steel axle in there. So if we put this here, bring that up like that, and then we take this, which has a Lego string attached to it, and I drag it down and loop it. I did it, guys. I think we just gotta reattach the handle and work out a couple of the issues with that, and then we should be good to test it. Hey guys, we got it all set up right here. Check this out. We flip this forward and your chocolate bars sit on top of the hat. I'm wearing eye protection because of safety and stuff. Hold it back here. Put the loop right on that. So now that's locked in. So you just push this in right there and it is ready to fire. You can see right here, this is the trigger and all I'm doing is I'm just pulling this like that. And when I do it enough, it actually shoots out. Here we go got to be like 20, 25 feet or something. And then the best feature about this, turn on the battery boxes for the money shooter, this thing actually shoots cash. So now if I push this trigger down, the tire in here starts rotating. And then, <laughs> the money shoots out, so that's pretty cool. Let's shoot some more. All this is doing is just releasing it like this. And then you'll just push the trigger back, and we go again. I'm gonna load in my chocolate bar. Elle's gonna try and catch it. Just load it in like this. Here we go. Uh, can I have your eye protection first? Oh. Check this out, guys. Now we have three loaded. This probably won't go bad. <laughs> hey, nice. It only took like, what, like 15 hours to build? <laughs> This thing turned out super duper cool. It's super heavy. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, check out this video because that's a video YouTube recommends specifically for you. And check out this video sponsor, Crazy Kai's Bricklink Store for your Lego brick needs. You can click the link down in the description or this button right here to check them out. See ya.